You know what sucks about being awoke or waking up <clears throat> is the fact that the more you know, the more you can't do. Like the things that you used to love doing, you can't do them anymore. And even if you do them, it just doesn't feel right. My thing, I used to love drinking orange juice, like orange juice out of the carton. And I remember I did a podcast with Adama, Adama Speaks. We did like three podcasts together now, so there's somewhere on this channel. And she was like, why does Tropicana orange juice taste exactly the same in Atlanta, Georgia, as it does in Washington State or as it does in New York? And she said there has to be some type of um, chemical in it to give it the same type of taste. She was like, oranges, they change according to the season. So why is it tasting the same the whole entire time? And I never thought about that. I really never thought about that. So then I would continue drinking my orange juice. I look at the carton. It would say not from concentrated, freshly squeezed. So I'm like, all right, cool. It's cool, you know? And then I started to taste this funny taste in it. I could actually taste the chemicals in it. I made a video maybe about a month ago, and I know I haven't been here for a while, and I appreciate you guys rocking with me. I had a couple life changes uh, in my life, like big life changes. And so I'm now living in a new place. Um, relationship status is different. Uh, my business, I've taken it to a new level. So I haven't had time to really drop in the way that I, I wanted to. But I, I was looking up natural flavors. And what does natural flavors actually mean? And I read this article on Google and it was fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating. And what they said is that natural flavors, right? Because normally you will look at something and you will go, okay, cool, right? Okay, cool. This, uh, it doesn't have any artificial flavors in it. It's natural flavors. So normally I will equate natural flavors to positive and artificial flavors to negative, right? But natural flavors by definition is that they just use something that is natural in order to establish a certain type of flavor. So that can mean an insect, that can mean some type of uh, animal, it could be a dead animal, like a, a bone or, uh, um, for instance, uh, vanilla flavor, okay, vanilla, okay, natural flavors of vanilla, they use the anus, yeah, you heard me right, they use the anus of a beaver to establish a vanilla flavor taste that would be put in natural flavors. So if you're reading ice cream, right? Imagine if you're reading the ingredients of ice cream and it has vanilla flavor in it. And then it also says for nat natural flavors. Or maybe it doesn't even say vanilla flavor. Maybe it just says natural flavors. In your mind, you would think, oh, that's just like whatever. Some natural flavors is good. But that could be that they took the anus of a beaver in order to come up with the flavor that tastes similar to vanilla. I was listening to something and I wanted to make this video a while ago, but I didn't get a chance. But I was listening to something. It was uh, Yaki. I don't know if you guys heard of Yaki before. But he was talking about how they ground up roaches in, and put them in orange juice in order to get that even taste amongst all orange juices. Nasty, right? And so it can even be fruit. It can even be vegetables. It can even be uh, some other type of natural substance, but natural flavors doesn't necessarily mean that it is healthy. Doesn't necessarily mean that it is good. When, when you're when you're eating a Boca burger or you're eating some Beyond Meat or some Beyond Beef or something like that, then you might think, "Oh, cool, I got a substitute, right? And this is better than you know whatever a steak, blah blah blah." Check out the ingredients on those things because it could say natural flavors, and if it does say natural flavors, that means that they could actually have the juice of a cow in there in order to make it taste like a real burger. Yeah, so that's just something that I wanted to bring to your mind. And this is some of the cons, in my opinion, of a waking up. That the more you know, the more you can't do. You know, it's hard for me to go in the grocery store now. It is really, really hard for me to grow, go in the grocery store because, like, I, there's not much that I can eat. I used to love eating Cheez-Its, you know, the little crackers, Cheez-Its. I would love eating those. Those... To me, I would call them crack, right? And I would just have a box of cheeses and I'd be chilling, right? Now when I look at cheeses, man, they have, I forget what it's called. It's called the BHT and it's something else. And both of those chemicals are actually outlawed in Europe and they're actually known for causing cancer amongst a whole lot of other problems in the human organism. 
I can't eat them anymore. I used to love drinking naked juices, you know, like the green goddess and those other type of naked juices, uh, berry something, uh, mango madness or whatever. Those have natural flavors in them. One time I was drinking one and it just tasted straight up like poison. I can't enjoy it anymore. I can't even enjoy drinking a bottle of water. I used to love drinking, uh, what's the water name? Uh, Fiji, Fiji water. I used to love drinking some other types of water. Now when I drink water in a plastic bottle, you know what I taste? I taste plastic, straight plastic. So now all of my water has to come from my distillation mach machine. And I don't really drink water that much. Now I drink a lot of coconut water. Right, not drink a lot of coconut water. Um, that's just like my go to, but it, it's, it sucks, man. I mean, I can't enjoy pizza anymore, um, because I've been vegan now for like three years. But there are some good vegan places that I could go to, and once in a while, I cheat on something, you know, um, if it feels right. But a lot of stuff my body just doesn't like, and I know a lot of people who have a traditional American diet. Their palate is changing as well, too, right? I got a lot of followers on um, TikTok, like 70,000, you know, so I get to hear the ears of uh, a lot of people, and they're saying how they can't eat as much meat as they used to, or their body's just been craving a lot of liquids, a lot of fruits. It's kind of the same for me, man. I've just been craving a lot of fruit, a lot of fruit, a lot of fruit, a lot of fruit, you know? Um, yeah, it's just really, really interesting. I wonder if you guys feel the same. Do you feel the same that like now that like you've been waking up to like a higher plane of existence, a higher way of thinking, that you just can't do the things that you want to do anymore? You know, this kind of reminds me of The Matrix. You remember the, the one dude, uh, he was communicating with the agent and he was like, I don't remember anything. Give me a job like a lawyer or a doctor. He was sitting down eating the steak with the guy. He was like, I know the steak's not real, but it tastes so, so good, right? He just wanted to go back in the matrix and forget everything and forget that he ever woke up. You know, I don't want to do that. I I, I love the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm coming into higher and higher and higher and higher planes of understanding. But this roar is not accommodating the way that it used to be. You know, so that's just my little spell for today. I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in and supporting Seven Circles. I know I've been saying I want to make more videos, and I do. And eventually, I'll get there. Eventually, maybe I can even be a full-time YouTuber. But in the meantime, I really got to grind on my business, and there's a lot of other things. But I'm going to keep getting this knowledge out here. I still have podcasts that I'm going to be putting up that I didn't put up yet, and I'm still going to be doing more. So once again, thank you for supporting the channel. I hope that you have a great day, great week, great month, great year, and a great life. My name is Jonathan. Thank you for tuning into Seven Circles. Until next time, peace.